A bilged ship is one that has suffered a breach of the hull, typically through grounding, collision, or similar incidents, resulting in water entering the hull. When a ship sustains damage leading to the flooding of compartments, an increase in draft will always occur. However, this does not necessarily mean that the ship's initial stability will decrease. In some cases, the flooding may improve stability, depending on the location and nature of the damaged compartments. Flooding of compartments can affect a ship's draft and stability in various scenarios. While the calculations often use box-shaped vessels for simplicity, the underlying principles apply equally to ship shape, especially since many ship hulls closely approximate a box shape when the curvature at the ends is ignored. This video will focus on one specific scenario, the bilging of an empty amidships compartment. Two different methods are used to calculate the change in draft, metacentric height in the bilged condition, and moment of statical stability. The lost buoyancy method, also known as the constant displacement method, and the added weight method. These two methods have identical results for final drafts, trim, and writing moment. However, they produce different values for the metacentric height. It's important to remember that the true measure of a ship's initial stability is the writing moment, or moment of statical stability, not the metacentric height alone. The lost buoyancy method is generally more appropriate when the damage is extensive. In contrast, the added weight method is more suitable when the hull breach is small and the floodwater remains relatively contained. However, since damage stability regulations are based on worst-case scenarios, all damage stability calculations are performed using the lost buoyancy method. This is also the method recommended for examination purposes, and the one that will be used in this scenario. Let's calculate the following using the lost buoyancy method. A box-shaped vessel has an overall length of 120 meters and a breadth of 28 meters. She is floating in salt water on an even keel with a draft of 4 meters. In this condition, the vertical distance of the ship's center of gravity from the keel is 11.75 meters. An empty amidships compartment measuring 40 meters in length and extending her full breadth and depth becomes bilged. When a box-shaped vessel suffers substantial side damage amidships, water floods into the compartment, resulting in a loss of buoyancy. This creates an excess weight force, which causes the vessel to sink, to regain a volume of buoyancy equivalent to that lost. The constant displacement method is based on this principle. The volume of buoyancy lost is equal to the volume of buoyancy gained. To determine the draft in the bilged condition, we need to find first the sinkage, using this principle. In this scenario, this is the lost part, and on both sides are the intact parts of the vessel. To calculate the volume, we multiply the length by the breadth, and then by the depth or draft. The length used to calculate the volume of buoyancy lost is the length of the flooded compartment, which represents the length of the lost part, 40 meters. Since the compartment extends across the vessel's full breadth and depth, the breadth is 28 meters, and the depth corresponds to the ship's draft, which is 4 meters. Now, the length used to calculate the volume of buoyancy gained is the length of the intact part of the vessel. To find this, subtract the length of the flooded compartment from the vessel's overall length, 120 meters minus 40 meters. The breadth remains the ship's full breadth, which is 28 meters. The depth in this case refers to the increase in draft after flooding, which refers to sinkage. Since sinkage is what we are looking for, let's transpose this. The sinkage is 2 meters. Adding the sinkage with the vessel's initial draft, the draft in the bilged condition is 6 meters. Next, let's calculate the initial metacentric height. Gm is found using the formula Km minus Kg. In this scenario, the value of Kg is given. To determine the Km, 
it is equal to Kb plus Bm. For a box-shaped vessel, Kb is half of the vessel's draft. Since her initial draft is 4 meters, Kb is 2 meters. Bm is calculated using this formula. Where L is the vessel's overall length, 120 meters. B is the breadth, 28 meters. V is the volume of displacement, or the vessel's underwater volume, which corresponds to her overall length, 120 meters, times her breadth, 28 meters, times draft, 4 meters. V is the underwater volume before bilging. A separate video will cover the derivation of the BM formula, and the origin of the constant 12. Now, the value of BM is, 16.333 meters. Adding the KB and BM, the KM in this scenario is, 18.333 meters. Subtracting the initial KG, 11.75 meters from KM, the initial metacentric height is, positive 6.583 meters. Next, let's calculate the GM in the bilged condition. The procedure follows the same steps as when calculating the initial GM. However, to determine KB when the vessel is bilged, the draft used will be in the bilged condition, which is 6 meters. The KB is 3 meters. To calculate BM, we use the same formula, but this time the length used is that of the intact portion of the vessel. This is found by subtracting the length of the flooded compartment from the vessel's overall length, 120 meters minus 40 meters, gives an intact length of 80 meters. The breadth and volume of displacement remain unchanged. It's important to remember that under the lost buoyancy method, the assumptions are that kg, displacement, and underwater volume remain constant. So, even though we are calculating BM in the bilged condition, the volume of displacement is still based on the vessel's pre-damage condition. The BM is 10.889 meters. Adding the KB and BM, the KM in the bilged condition is 13.889 meters. Subtract the KG from the KM, the GM in the bilged condition is positive 2.139 meters. Remember that the KG, when using this method, remains constant, even if there is an added weight. This indicates that the vessel remains in a stable condition, although damage has occurred and repairs are necessary. Next, let's calculate the moment of statical stability when the vessel is healed to 5 degrees. This is the formula, where Rm is the writing moment, or moment of statical stability. Gz is the writing lever or writing arm. To find the displacement of a box-shaped vessel, we multiply the underwater volume, or volume of displacement, by the relative density of the water in which the vessel is floating. Since we are using the lost buoyancy method, it is assumed that the underwater volume remains constant, so we use the initial draft of 4 meters. Given that the vessel is floating in salt water, the relative density is 1.025. The displacement of a box-shaped vessel is 13,776 tons. To calculate the writing lever at a small angle of heel, Gz is equal to Gm in the bilged condition times sine angle of heel. For a large angle of heel, greater than 10 degrees, a wall-sided formula would be more appropriate. Now to determine the writing moment, we have GM in the bilged condition which is 2.139 meters times sine 5 degrees. The product will then multiply to displacement, which is 13,776 tons. The moment of statical stability at 5 degrees angle of heel is 2,568 ton meters. I will cover other scenarios such as bilging of end compartments and compartments with permeability less than 100% in a separate video. That's all for now, I hope you found this video helpful, see you next time, thank you for watching, bye.